Hello everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here and it is Tiny Tuesday and since it's the start of October I'm going to be doing like some on and off you know Halloween-y stuff uh, throughout the month. Um, so well, what we're going to do today is we're going to draw a creepy jack-o-lantern and remember this is for the younger audience so it's a little bit more simple in its design, but hey, it's good practice. Anyone who wants to participate. And again, I invite you to uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, so you can learn how to draw and uh, just have some fun. Uh, other than that, we are going to get started. So I'm going to start with a simple kind of oblong. like circle shape so I'm just gonna sketch that out okay so now that I have my circle shape in here we're gonna start up here at the top and we're gonna put in these eyes And the reason why I'm doing them this way, we're not doing like simple triangles, is we really want to uh, give the chance for the face to emote something. So we're just going to kind of add shape and form to the eyes themselves. Okay, we want to leave a little bit of a space. And come up this way. And we're going to draw the eyes the same way on this side. So we'll obviously make some adjustments to the pumpkin itself. Now what I do want to do is come down here we're gonna go without a nose just so we can give more emphasis to the face itself and I'm just gonna put like these little curvy lines again to help give more expression to the face okay so and curve that as it goes down now I'm gonna switch over just so I can keep things a little bit even And as you can see, we're going to have to extend the pumpkin's face. So we're going to give him a big, big old smile. Now I want to... kind of have this arch in the middle just so we know that's kind of the central location of the face and we have that so now what I'm gonna do clean up all that stuff around there I'm gonna kind of come up here by the top of the head and we're gonna kind of somewhat stay close to the eyes and come down we're going to do the same thing on this side. Let's stay kind of close to the eyes. And then wrap around this way. I can clean up all that. 
right in there. Okay, so next thing I want to do is kind of start um, defining the pumpkin. Okay, so like different areas, I'm going to put in, um, you know, the actual like kind of squash lines that separate the pumpkin out. So like when I erase it, you know, we'll have these little like dividing lines here. Now I want to carry those up through the head. Like that. Okay, I'm going to come out this way. We'll do it again right here. So I'm just kind of adding those little divots in. Okay, we'll come down here into the face and round that off like that. Okay, so see how it's kind of giving our pumpkin a little bit of shape. So we're going to do one more. Just kind of round it here. And just clean it up. So you can see how that's starting to add some definition. The so same thing with this part would be kind of like the chin. I want to bring that up. This can kind of be like the central part of the head. Okay, and then again, trying to keep it, you know, somewhat even on the other side. want them to kind of line up right there. Okay, so we're still building this pumpkin out. Okay, so we'll do another one. Kind of come out more towards the edge here. Okay, let's go ahead and just clean up some of this sketchiness. And we'll bring that up into the head. And then we'll kind of round out this part. And then just clean up the outer edge. Okay. So now we got ourselves basic pumpkin shape and everything else. Now we can start putting some cool little details in here. So like the first thing I want to do is I want to give this thing some eyes. Okay. So it's like something is inside the pumpkin that's looking out. All right, so I'm going to draw another circle here. And then you kind of put the little reflection line on the eye. Or the glare right here. Okay. So now I have me an eye inside there, and I can come over here, and we can just repeat the same process. Let me make that a tad bigger. Okay. And we'll put another little eye reflection there. Okay. Now here's the part where we can kind of bring it out and make it stand out a little bit. So you want to give kind of like the edge of the pumpkin here. So like right in here, I want to give the illusion that there's an edge. Okay. So that we can see 
that part. So I'm going to go ahead and refine that by just tracing over it like that. And then we're going to refine these lines right here. Just make them nice and solid. Okay, let me clean that up. And then right inside of here. Now, if you want to color this, you can use a black colored pencil, marker, whatever you want to do, but I'm just using my pencil. I'm going to color in this area black so it looks like the inside of the pumpkin is more empty and it'll give us more focus. on the eye itself. Okay. So now that I have the white eye, we could, let's see what a pupil would look like if we want to go with that. So we can draw a circle in there. and just fill in that black okay and again we want these lines nice and refined so that means any of the sketchiness I want to clean up around it okay and then I want to refine my line work inside the pumpkin on the eyes just make sure those are nice and solid. Now since I have that I can go ahead and refine my outside like that and I'm going to refine that at least down to here. Okay so now let's come over to the other eye. Let's go ahead and refine our line work. Okay, so that includes everything around it. We'll refine those up too. As well as these little ridge lines. And then what we can do is to save us some time later. So we can go ahead and clean up some of the sketchiness in there. Okay. And then again, I want to come in here and we want to put in a pupil. Okay, I can get rid of that little bit of bend that was at the top. Okay, we're going to refine our line work inside. And then again, we want to have an edge right here so we won't fill that part in. We're just going to come in here right next to the eye and make all that black okay and again it doesn't have to be perfectly filled in the idea of the pumpkin and the shadowing in there will be fine especially if you're coloring this uh, it should come you know, get filled in a lot more solid than with the pencil. Okay. So you can see we now have the eyes sticking out. I'm now going to refine this outside line. Okay. And there's a reason we haven't touched the teeth yet and the mouth is we're going to sketch those things in first 
and then make them solid. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up the sketchy lines so it looks nice and clean when we're done. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to start adding in some teeth on this, okay? So I'm going to start up here at the front, all right? So like right here, I'm going to give this some sharp teeth. Remember, we're trying to make it seem like there's something inside the pumpkin. Okay. So we're going to take that all the way up to the top. Okay. And then I want to come next to... maybe make this one and we, we don't want like all the teeth to be the same just so it seems a little bit um, more realistic uh, you know I mean at least monster wise you know they don't always have perfectly symmetrical teeth so we're gonna run this next one down It'll be a little bit longer Let's bring that out like this. Okay. So just try to keep everything, you know, s symmetrical by just kind of working back and forth. Um, like for this one, I'm going to start with this top one here. Just so... I can make it look like the other tooth is just coming behind it. Like that. And we're just going to keep kind of working back and forth. Okay, so like this tooth on this side, you can arch that down. And bring that up this way. And we'll have like a tiny sharp tooth like right in here. Okay. Now from here we can start getting, since we're getting out wider, we're going to start getting bigger with the teeth a little bit in some areas. Okay, so we're going to bring this out and have that curve up. Same thing here. Have our tooth come from here. We'll put it like right next to it. Okay. Now we can have like a little sharp one sticking out here. All right. And then we can do kind of like we did with the other one over here where it's like kind of behind it. So let's kind of take a tooth out this way. And then that can kind of be our other tooth that's coming down right in there, right? So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start f 
finishing out just this side. Okay. So we have this two is curved up. I'm going to have this one curved down. Like that. And we can have one more. Right here. Okay, so let's switch back to this other side. Okay, we have that side's done. So let's come over. We had a tooth coming down. So now we're going to have another tooth that comes up. Like that. Okay, I'm going to come down into this one. Maybe make it a shorter tooth. And then from there we can have another one that's kind of coming out of it. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to curve up another tooth. And then just take it from here. like that. Now you, in these places like this where we got the big gaps we're just gonna fill that in black like that. So it's like same thing up here. I just fill it in black and we'll go back and do all that just in case you were wondering what we're gonna do. Okay so we got another tooth right here. And again, right there. Okay. I'll do one more on the top and so that we're matching the bottom. Leave a gap here. Put one more there. Like that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to refine this and fill it in at the same time. Okay. Just right there in that corner. I'm going to come back through all my teeth here where I have my gaps. I'm going to fill those in. Okay. And then come back to this area here. We're going to fill that in as well. Okay. Now, I do want to come in here and get rid of some of that sketchiness there. And then we can kind of refine this edge line here. Again, clean up any sketchiness as you go along. Okay, and then like this would be like our actual like gums. Right, for whatever is inside that pumpkin. So we can actually draw in the gum line to the teeth just so that that 
little point is being made with our drawing. We can tell the difference between the pumpkin part and the creature part. Okay. So last thing I want to do is we're going to draw a little pumpkin stem. Just like that. And we'll put a little ridge line here. Just kind of connect it that way. And then just follow it around one more time. Okay, so now we got ourselves a little pumpkin. Now I'm gonna do the part that I like to do at the end where I thicken up the edge to make it pop off the page. Okay, now again, you don't have to do this part. I just like doing it because again, I think it makes it look better. But again, that's just a style choice on my part. You don't have to do that. So while I'm going around doing this, again, I want to thank everybody who is subscribed. Or if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Also, I cannot stress enough the importance of leaving a comment and letting me know what you want to see next. I don't mind drawing whatever you request. I make a note of it and I put it in for the week of, you know, things to draw. So please, if you want more content that you enjoy, just let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to oblige. Also, I want to thank y'all for getting us up to 300 something. That is sweet. I like having students to teach. And always just keep in mind, like, I know I am not the greatest artist in the world, but I at least have a, a, a basic foundation. And that's all I'm here to do is to give you the same. You can uh, take what you learn from me and start creating into your own style and level of detail. And if you are so inclined, you can feel free to share your work with me on uh, Twitter. That's fine. I would love to see what you guys have been working on, how you take things that I've drawn and maybe make them my own. Like, hey, you know, cool pumpkin design, but this is how I would do it. You know, even if you didn't draw the same thing that I did and you just kind of followed this video to see the basics of it, and then you went and created your own pumpkin. That would be really cool to see. But yeah. Um, we're just going to finish this up right here. And that is going to do it. For our Tiny Tuesday. Creepy Jack-O-Lantern drawing. Okay. So, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like what you've seen, leave a like, share. If you just stopped by just to draw this one pumpkin, hey, I appreciate you anyway. All right. So thank you again to everyone for stopping by. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Until next time, keep sketching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.